Good day Capricorn, welcome to the Whistling Hermit YouTube channel. Today we will be trying something new. We will try to assess the state of your chakras by using a seven card spread known as the Chakra Tarot Spread. And uh, for this reading, we will be using several crystals that will symbolize the seven major chakras of your body. Now, the lowermost chakra, chakra number one, is the basal or the root chakra, and it is represented by the black obsidian. Now, the second chakra, which is the sacral chakra, will be represented by the red jasper. The tiger's eye will be representing the sacral plexus chakra. Now, uh, the root chakra symbolizes what you have this allows us to get grounded in reality at the same time it's uh, sort of like it's uh, the area where we are related that is related to our security our sense of security so somehow it can be related to our resources and also our health also things that would make us feel secure so this will symbolize what we have now, the sacral chakra would symbolize our sexual relationships. So, uh, what we feel usually, this is related to that. So, this is related to our uh, sexual urges also. At the same time, uh, the uh, tiger's eye, which represents the solar plexus chakra, represents our ability to accomplish things. So, this is the fire within, our uh, power, the inner power. Uh, so this is what I can. Okay, this can symbolize what I can. This one is uh, the representative of the heart chakra. We have here two crystals that represents it. We have here the the pink, the rose quartz, and then we have here the green aventurine. The heart chakra represents what I love. Here we have the throat chakra, which is represented by the blue sodalite, and it represents what I speak or what I express. So this is related to communication. This is related to love. Now, finally, we have here the third eye chakra, which is represented by the amethyst, and this is what I see. Usually what you, you're related to the intuition and also our insights. Finally, we have here, uh, represented by the clear quartz, uh, the seventh chakra or the crown chakra. And this represents our communication with the divine or with God and also our spirit guides. So this, is, this one allows us to get in touch with our inner self. The third eye also is related to it. As you would see, these chakras are somehow interrelated with each other and somehow even the crystals tend to overlap and so the roles also tend to sort of like there are gray areas in which these chakras also help each other. So uh, this with this one, we will now start uh, with our tarot reading. So this is a chakra tarot spread. Okay, so our main energy is the strength. Okay, uh, the main energy is the strength. It uh, symbolizes our, uh, the strength that comes from within. Okay, so we will put this uh, main energy maybe here. Okay. Okay. So we have here the five of wands, and then we have here the five of swords, okay. And then we have here the six of wands. It seems that the number five has an importance, to is important to you right now, okay. Uh, we have here the ten of pentacles, and then we have here, uh, wait, let's move it a little higher so that we'll have more space. 
Okay. We have here the Ten of Pentacles, and then we have here the Seven of Wands, and then we have here the Knight of Pentacles, and finally we have the Emperor. Okay. Okay, so uh, with regards to the root chakra, it seems that right now you are uh, undergo undergoing some some struggle right now, uh, and it might be affecting your being grounded into reality. You know, when when we have some uh, this this struggle uh, is uh, it affects your your emotions in a certain sense and also uh, the power the fire within. So somehow. Whatever these struggles that you are encountering right now, it, it somehow, in a certain sense, uh, ha challenges your ability to remain grounded in reality. So sometimes, you know, when you are preoccupied with a lot of things, you tend to easily forget things. You tend to find it hard to concentrate. You tend to lose your peace. No? So at this present time, it seems that you have a certain struggle right now or a certain challenge in your life that uh, threatens the stability of your uh, root chakra and it can affect your ability to remain grounded. Uh, when you are grounded, it's easier for you to find stillness and to find peace. So that this challenge can somehow prevent you from doing that. Now, with regards to the sacral chakra, uh, somebody is uh, lurking uh, there's somebody in your life right now who is not quite honest and it makes you feel a little bit insecure right now uh, it can be that in a relationship maybe you are in a relationship right now where uh, the other party is uh, a little bit self-serving it can be that um, for some the, the thought of narcissism can be there maybe not to a big degree but uh, there is this this yeah in the relationship uh, it seems that you are in a relationship right now where uh, it seems that the other person is just concerned with sexual gratification now this energy can change you know it can be you or it can be the other party now if you're the one who is a little bit uh, self-serving you just want your own sexual gratification I, the, this is an opportunity for you to realize that and an opportunity for you to change it because uh, if your purpose in getting into a relationship is that only for sexual gratification then the relationship will not be will not be balanced and uh, you will end up finding yourself in a relationship that is like a washing machine because the flow of energy and the flow of of love between you will not be equal now uh, it can be that you are in relationship where the other party is the one who is just a little bit selfish okay so be careful for some of you just try to see if it resonates with you try to discern if you are in a relationship right now where the give and take in the relationship is not balanced and if one is a little bit uh, more self-serving Okay, so you try to see if you are in such a situation, maybe you need to address that or else there will be some, uh, some problems in your, uh, in your personal life. So uh, it's not easy to be in a relationship where you are just giving and giving, the other one is just taking. It's a, an unbalanced and an unhealthy situation. If you are in such a situation, it's either you try to solve that problem by dialogue if not maybe it's time for you to consider letting it go okay with regards to your solar plexus you seem to have the power you seem to have the strength you are uh you're a victor you are succeeding in your life challenges uh, so somehow your your solar plexus chakra right now is quite strong you have the power to accomplish things and you succeed in doing them and you are becoming popular. People are starting to recognize this inner strength that you have and this tenacity to succeed in what endeavor you put yourself in. Okay, uh, despite this uh, imbalance in your uh, 
so so in your uh, sacral chakra you know we're in one might be too sexual you no know, at the same time a little bit uh, mischievous okay uh, you seem to have a good family relationship right now uh, you seem to be fulfilled uh, emotionally at the same time also uh, there is a certain sense of security within your family life so uh, things are going well also in your heart chakra so it seems here you see here in the ten of pentacles uh, there is a certain security in the family financial security also maybe also this financial security is also helping have helping the family to have a good loving relationship with each other so when it comes to love and care it seems that you are in an environment <clears throat> a family environment and maybe a an environment or relationship environment where you feel secure and also there is a financial security and somehow uh, every member of your family is benefiting from it it's just that you need to get give some attention to this one to try to balance this area the area of the sacral chakra but when it comes to the heart when it comes to loving things, things seems to be okay so it seems that uh, the root chakra has some struggles you are having some challenges in life maybe it is related to this one wherein uh, maybe uh, your sexual partner is a little bit selfish and there is some struggle in it and it's it affects your ability to remain grounded but at the same time you have the strength you have the capacity to solve this problem you have the fire within to maybe be honest enough to solve this problem now at the same time you have the capacity to love you are in an environment where there is also unconditional love so maybe on your part you are also have that you also have the capacity to love unconditionally however when we look at here at the throat chakra you are again encountering some struggles so there is some struggle in dialoguing or talking with people it can be related to this one maybe uh, uh, for some of you it can be a, a struggle with dialogue with this person who only thinks of themselves no and at the same time also yeah it affects your ability to remain grounded uh, or to remain at peace so somehow yes even in when it comes to the throat chakra you are having some struggles with dialogue but you have the capacity you are on you are on the upper ground you are on the higher ground you have the capacity to overcome you have the uh, the ability or the communication communicating ability to win them over to your point of view i guess it is related to this one to this power within this fire within uh, you see here both of them are are uh, wands and you, uh, this is the sixth and this is the seventh no so somehow uh, you have the fire within you you are not afraid to express yourself but at the same time it is tempered by this uh, this the tenderness in your heart this capacity to be uh, gen generous to be also patient maybe so somehow uh, it is an important factor in dialogue you, the ability to be able to listen to try to understand also the point of view of others so somehow you have this strong capacity to dialogue and if you have that capacity uh, although you have some uh, challenges right now when it comes to dialoguing with other people maybe you really need to do some dialogue it can be related to your sacral chakra to somebody who is a little bit self-centered and also uh, yeah it affects also your so these are the three areas that you need to con to give consideration right now the root chakra the sacral chakra and the throat chakra when it comes to the third eye chakra you are seeing something beautiful in your life right now there is an inspiration that you have just received from the divine something that maybe will bring you this prosperity for your family and for yourself and something that will also bring prosperity for the generations to come but it's going to take some time you see here he is ready to work for a long time he has already tilled the land he's going to plant things there it's going to take some time before the plant will grow so this will be a long process whatever this inspiration hit 
here this inspiration is it will take some time and some effort on your part it will require you to be patient but it is something that you already can infer by your intuition something that will be beneficial not only for you but for generations to come and also for your family now we have here the emperor uh, the emperor is somebody who has wisdom oftentimes uh, they don't remain in their position if they do not wish, have this kind of wisdom so i feel that at this present time also your life is also your life decisions are also being guided also by the inner your inner self your contact or your communication with your inner self you are being guided by the divine and also your spirit guide so somehow uh, your relationship with the divine and your spirit guide seems to be stable uh, you are protected you see here there are there is an armor here at the same time you are also you also feel secure you also feel relaxed there is a comfortable garb here uh, there is a certain strength here a certain maturity and a certain wisdom so somehow also your crown chakra is also seems to be strong at this present time you seem to be in touch with the divine and also with the spirit guide so whatever these challenges in communication that you are having right now you will overcome you will succeed you will be a victor in this one whatever this one you will be able to resolve this and you will also be able to resolve the instability in your root chakra just allow the divine to guide you and also your spirits guides to guide you you have that inner strength right now now the main energy is that whatever this struggle that you're having right now you have the fire within the inner strength and i think the fire with it comes with a deeper relationship your strong relationship with the divine and your inner self your the universe your community and then this uh, insight or this vision that you have which somehow allows you to be generous also and gives you that power to communicate despite of these challenges that you are encountering so this is what i can see for you right now capricorn with regards to the state of your chakras we will try to end this reading with uh, some insights from the cosmic reading cards okay let's see what the cosmic reading cards has for you celestial teacher okay so uh it seems that the universe is sending you somebody in the spirit realm who will help you uh and be your guide also so for some of you maybe your intuition will be more developed and you will be in touch with a spiritual mentor a celestial teacher or uh the spirit or the divine and the, the universe will be speaking to you uh being your celestial you, you will be in touch with the universe and you will be discovering new things now maybe new insights something that might be related to this new inspiration uh just be aware of whatever synchronicities are happening in your life uh be conscious of the events especially if these events seems to be interconnected with each other uh, be aware of repeating numbers be aware also of uh, certain animals that come your way okay uh, certain uh, events that that uh, seem to to attract your attention you know, even the people that you meet okay so just allow the universe to guide you you are being taught at this present moment and for some of you you might get in touch with your uh, guardian spirits okay emotions okay so somehow at this time you no know, uh, when it comes to love you seem to be stable but when it comes to sexuality there seems to be some struggles here uh, so and at the same time there's the tender tendency that there is a, a danger of you for losing your peace because of maybe these struggles and this struggle here in the communication so just guard your emotions watch your emotions remain calm loving uh, understanding allow the spirit and your spirit guides to uh, help you maintain this peace uh, you will be able to attain it you have the capacity to do it the solar plexus has that of the energy of that of a victor so you will overcome it so just try to <clears throat> maintain peace 
with regards to your emotion especially when if it is uh, the full moon when it is full moon usually the emotions are a little bit enhanced so maybe somehow the the invitation for you is to just be aware of your emotions try to maintain uh, don't allow your emotions to run wild you have the inner strength to temper those emotions well that is what we can see for you right now with regards to the state of your chakras capricorn i hope you were able to gain some insights and maybe some answers to some questions that you might have uh, somehow maybe you were also aware of maybe some things or some challenges that you might not have been aware in the past uh, i hope this reading has helped you and I uh, thank you for the likes and, and uh, the support that you have given to the channel. If you think this will help somebody out there, don't hesitate to share it with them. I look forward to seeing you again. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.